What is going on YouTube? Hope everyone's having a great day today. So today we're going to cover how to use visual content for your brand. So if you like this video today guys, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, and share. Uh, leave any comments you have down below, I'll be happy to address them. And uh, on that note, let's get stuck in. So visual content marketing simply means the content marketing with visual content rather than text content. Visual content marketing encompasses different forms of content marketing based on visual design elements. So what we're going to do in this video, guys, is we're going to go through about 10 different ways you can use visual content marketing and 10 different types of visual content marketing. So as I say, if you like this one, guys, don't forget to subscribe. That's a big thing, I'm trying to get bump up to channel numbers here. Uh, leave a comment down below and uh, I hope you enjoy. So, a great strength to visual content, content marketing is eye-catching photographs. Show the behind-the-scenes photos of your brand. Show off your product in action. It's imperative that you show good quality photos. Like the one here, it's a good quality photo. Who wouldn't like to be there? Also, put a face to your brand. People want to know who they're dealing with, not just some faceless corporation. 93 of people say images are the number one deciding factor when buying products. So if you're if you're selling something on Amazon or eBay, make sure you have good quality pictures there. Make sure they're eye-catching. And if you're selling any product on, say, as I say, Amazon, those pictures have to be bang on. So eye-catching photos are a must-have for anything that you're doing with your brand. Another thing you'll need is good questions, good thought-provoking questions. Ask your consumers questions to spark conversation and engagement. Keep your questions open. What motivates you? What's your favorite thing about summer? Etc. Questions like that. Help break forth the walls between businesses and consumers. So see a need, fill a need. Presenting your questions as an image will encourage sharing of your content. So if you have good, thought-provoking questions, you'll get people thinking here, like our friend on screen here, he's deep in thought about his next move online, you can see by him. <laughs> so if you have good, thought-provoking questions, it'll get people interacting with you, sharing, liking your content, which will bring brand awareness, which will bring customer interaction, which will bring sales. So have good questions. Another tip for your content marketing is having good tips, tricks, and how-tos. They can be recipes, tutorials, life hacks, and everything in between. Just show off interesting ways to use your product. Use visuals to get attention, encourage shares, and to make it all seem achievable. This helps to construct a wise and intelligent tone for your brand. So if you can have how-to videos or tricks or little life hacks and tips people go wild for all this kind of thing at the moment and it definitely gets liked and shared on facebook on pinterest on twitter on instagram it definitely gets liked and shared so again have some good tips tricks and how to's and just insert your brand strategically in there use that in your visual content marketing and watch your customer interactions skyrocket The next tip we have is using inspiring quotes. Use your brand's palette, type, style, and aesthetic and tailor to you. Quote cards are highly shareable over lots of social platforms. So again, your Pinterest, your Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter. They're all the time you go onto these sites, you see these inspiring quotes. They're very easy and fast to create, and you can use quotes to reflect your brand values. So you can use sites like Canva and other sites like that to create your own little Instagram posts, like our friend here in the water. These inspiring quotes get huge circulation. You've seen the same ones yourselves, no matter where you are. You've seen them on Facebook and Instagram. They just circle back around and around and around, and they're very catchy, and they are very positive. So if you can use these in your branding, when you're doing your visual content marketing, then you'll have good success, and people like to see this kind of stuff. So again, this is inspiring quotes. 
Another great thing that people like to interact with is infographics. Infographic, infographics are liked and shared five times more than any other piece of visual content. Compressed, you can compress a lot of information into one medium. Businesses that use infographics report 20% higher profit than those who don't. It makes lots of information available a lot easier and it's a lot easier to follow. So with infographics, like you see here, they're relatively easy to put together. You can get these ones or you can get them on the likes of uh, Upwork or Fiverr or anywhere like that, or you can make your own and they're very, very popular. As I say, they're shared more than five times more than any other piece of visual content. People go mad for infographics because there's a lot of information there and it's not just reading off a page, it's animated, so it's very popular. So who wouldn't want 20% higher profit? So if you can use infographics, or if you're not using infographics, then you should be. And then similar to infographics, we have informative screenshots. Now informative screenshots are slightly different, but they're still the same thing as infographics really when you think about it. They're not as popular, but you can use screenshots to tease an article or show off features of your site or your program or your brand or your product. You can annotate your screenshots for even more clarity. You can use screenshots to proudly show off some positive customer reviews. And 85% of people read reviews to determine a business quality. So inform informative screenshots are definitely a way forward because people, they, they, go, they go well with review sites and people go mad for that kind of thing. And they like to see, to gather all the information when they're doing a review before they go for a purchase. And if you're seen as an authority figure and you have good informative screenshots there, you can show people a brand or a product, then they're gonna to go to you. They're gonna come through your affiliate link or they're going to buy your brand. So that's why you need to use informative screenshots. Next, we're going to talk about one of my favorites, which is videos, but not just any type of videos, engaging videos. With engaging videos, you can give your brand a literal voice and sound. 65% of consumers are more inclined to buy products online after watching an engaging, informative video. Only 9% of US small businesses actively create video content. That's very small. So you can mix up your range of content with videos. So you can have, you can have infographics and inspiring quotes and videos and informative screenshots as well as visualizations. If you have videos in there, guys, when you do a, a Google search for anything, any product, anything, what you'll have in the top five or 10 searches, you'll have three or four videos. So there's an awful lot more reviews out there than there is videos, but videos are the way forward. If you go on any public transport, go anywhere, you see people looking at their videos, looking at their smartphones, and they're watching videos. So if you have engaging videos to give your brand a voice and a sound, customers are mad for that kind of thing at the moment, and they're more inclined to buy products online after watching a review video. The next thing I want to talk about in your content marketing is visualizations. Interesting data visual visualizations to be more specific. Design your data to reflect your brand. 50% of people respond and understand visual information better than just plain old text. So if you have a graph in there or any other kind of visual data uh, graph that you have there, you can communicate important facts and figures to audience much more quickly. There's nothing worse than just seeing a big blank screen of just writing, you know, it's draining. But if you have vis visualizations there and graphs with data on them, you can get through an awful lot more information an awful lot quicker and it won't be half as boring. There can be maps, charts, graphs, diagrams, etc. So if you use these data visualizations in your brand or to promote your brand or product or service, whatever you're doing, then you should be using these charts and graphs, diagrams, etc. There's plenty of data on them and they're a bit more interesting than just the normal, as I say, sheets and sheets of, of words. So that's visualizations. 
Next, you want to talk about branded images. So you want to use imagery that reflects your brand's unique selling point. So if you have good branded images, that will go a long way to, to, to reflecting your brand's unique selling point. So capture a brand's values and essence via imagery, color, composition, etc. Using detailed and branded images can help you gain 75% more audience attention. So people, again, like to see these branded images. They like to see images. It's pleasing on the eye. If you have some good high-definition de high uh, photographs of your brand, of your product, or even if you're advertising your service, then if you have branded images that reflects the unique selling points of your brand, people are going to go for that kind of thing. They're going to click on that kind of thing. And you have to stand out, guys. You can't just throw anything out there. You have to stand out. So if you have good brand images that will help you stand out, you're liable to get more customers and you're liable to retain more customers with good branded images. So the last thing we're going to talk about today in our visual content for your brand video is a good strong call to action. 75% of businesses are totally lacking any kind of call to action. So if you're not asking people to do something, if you're not showing people the way to go and directing them to where you want them to go, then you really are missing a, a, a big trick here. Influence your page visitors to do something. Buy now, click here, follow us on Instagram, share with on Facebook, whatever it is. Ask people to do it, and people are more likely to do it, especially if they enjoy your content. Use hierarchy, color, and imagery to grab people's attention. So this all ties back to what we were talking about, like infographics and information, screenshots, videos, visualization, brand images. Use all that. Good color, good quality and it'll grab people's attention and get yourself out in front of where people are going. Great for promoting sales, events, offers, and any other exclusive content for your brand, for your product you're selling, or for a service. So it's 70, as I say, 70% of businesses are totally lacking call to action. So make sure that you have a good, strong call to action available to the, to the people who are seeing your product or brand or service. So on that note, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Call to action, subscribe, subscribe to the channel guys below or leave a comment and leave a comment. So uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, chat to you next time. Take care guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.